It's my birthday. Good morning, y'all. It is 11.48 in the morning and it's March 9th, so it's my 20th birthday. Can't believe I'm 20. I feel like that's so like old. So I guess I'm gonna do a vlog style day and y'all are gonna come along with me and see everything that I do for my sweet 20. I'm actually about to go to the gym. I haven't had anything to eat yet, but I saw that Starbucks like is giving me something free for my birthday. So I'm gonna stop there and get myself a drink and a little breakfast before I go work out. Blue is so clingy and he just loves to be in my lap all the time. My face looks so swollen and it always looks swollen in the morning. Even though I'm just going to the gym, I want to add a little something to my hair. This hair is from my first wig and this is a body wave, but it's becoming a little bit straight and I really like a nice voluminous look. So I'm gonna use my Duval Rendezvous Professional Styling Iron. They sent me this flat iron and I tried it on my natural hair. I have 4C hair and it literally made it look like the salon, like so silky straight and it was moving like it was moving so i like this iron i did put it back in the box because i like the way the box looks but it shows you how to make waves you can have a little flip at the end so yeah it like shows you how to do every single thing you want with this so it's not just a straightener you can give yourself a little curl too so i'm going to try to curl my hair with this right now i've only ever straightened my hair with this i haven't tried to curl it yet so this should be fun i'm trying to get this piece to cooperate it's like it's like I can do every other piece except for this one at the top of my head. Oh, I got lash extensions. I always get the longest ones that they have to offer. If I'm paying $100 for lash extensions, why would I get them natural looking? I want, like, I would want it to look like lash extensions. I used to get them natural, but then I was like, you know, go big or go home. Okay, so I added a little bit of texture to my hair, which I love. I'm trying to get the hang of this. I'm really not used to using hot tools like that, but we'll just see. Oh, a little flippy flip. like it it's giving beachy it's not giving like barrel curls but it's like one of those beachy wave styles oh my gosh so cute so just give me a second I'll be finished. <laughs> i'm like actually annoyed at how swollen my face looks right now because it's like very embarrassing my face normally doesn't look this puffy i tried to take a shower and everything to deep puff but to no avail, my face looks like it's going to like come out of my head. All right, so that's it y'all. I just gave myself a little wig. And like I said, if y'all want 70% off of a titanium flat iron, I will leave my code on the screen. So before I go, I need to put on some perfume. I'm gonna try out these new perfumes that Cora sent me. This one is called Vanilla Frisia. And y'all, it smells exactly like Victor and Wolf's Flower Bomb. And I'm pretty sure that Cora's Eau de Toilettes are only $48 for a 1.7 ounce. And it smells so good. Shoulder, shoulder. I think you're supposed to put it on your clothes, but I do because I just do. Like, I just love to smell good. So I'm gonna put on shoes and head out and then also show y'all my new car. Here's my new car, really, really excited about it. And y'all see how I blinged it already. I put a bling. Okay, so this is a Mazda CX-5 and I put this blank steering wheel cover, a blank push start ring, but this is a used car, so I'm gonna have to get it detailed. Y'all saw like, um, you see like these drippings? I disinfected my car with just Lysol spray and didn't follow up with the wipe after, so now there's just dry spray everywhere. 
I don't know why I did that. I probably should have just done a wipe instead. But, you know, whatever. I also got bling license plates for it, but I don't have a real license plate yet, so I can't exactly put that on my car yet, but it's coming. Right now, I'm headed to Starbucks. I'm gonna, when I get to Starbucks, I think I'm gonna get their brown sugar shaken espresso or whatever. It's new. I tried it before, and honestly, it wasn't that good. It didn't taste like anything, but I saw some people make modifications to it. So I'm gonna see if these modifications are worthwhile and if they are good i will let you know but i can't vlog and drive so i'm just gonna chat with y'all when i get into the starbucks drive through beyond hurt because they were all out of they were all out of oat milk so they couldn't make me the brown sugar oat milk drink so i just asked for what i normally get which is the vanilla sweet cream cold brew but i added brown sugar to it turkey bacon sandwich I love those and then this is my cold brew it's really light I don't like coffee this light oh my gosh y'all I'm so sorry I recorded a little bit of my workout but I was literally stopped in the parking lot. I had to call campus police. There's this guy, he was like leaning up in my window and he came to this window and he was like telling me like let him sit in my car and I was just like trying to drink my coffee in peace and he just like kept harassing me and like saying like all this disgustingly inappropriate stuff. Like it was so like vulgar. And I was like, what the heck? And he was like following me into the gym. Like, it was just so bizarre. Like I was so shaken up. I couldn't even focus on doing the video or anything. So I'm back now. I'm glad that's all sorted out, but it's just like very bizarre. Like this is the weirdest birthday ever. Under a lot of my videos, y'all are like, oh, what's the workout routine? Like I promise you, I don't have one. I just kind of do whatever. And it's mainly just the elliptical. And I work out maybe once or twice a week, but I'm trying to get in there more. Mom gave me a gift. No, I'm looking back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not every day my baby turns 20. I'm excited. I don't even you know what this be. could be. You should be. I'm scared. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's so cute. I thought you'd like that better than this, so this might fall off. Yeah. Wait, how do I? I don't want to break it. Yeah this wrist and I was like so you don't ever have to take it off let's get a clamp just... mom thank you uh, it's so cute I'm kind of a little bit I've got the vintage you've got the new oh <laughs> thanks I'm so excited that was so sweet I had no idea what she was getting me for my birthday but that was just like very pleasant surprise. So thanks mom. I love my gift. It's 3.59. My edges are clearly sweated out. I have to go home, shower, get ready, do my hair and makeup, all that good stuff. So let's get ready now. Okay, so now it's time to get ready. I look so crusty right now, but we are about to get it all together. My lips are dry. My skin is having a moment. My under eyes are dark. It's just bad right now but to moisturize my lips i'm just using this your lip glow oil in the shade raspberry i'm using my la girl orange concealer under my eye because i need to correct these under eye circles of mine as you can see it looks like i never sleep oh my gosh now i need to wet my beauty blender actually i just dipped it in my cup of water so i have to remember not to drink that So I'm just blending, blending, blending all of this out like so like that. I actually love doing get ready with me. I just feel like that's not what y'all want to see. But if I'm wrong, please let me know. I actually really love like doing my makeup and stuff like that.
Okay, so while my orange concealer is vibing, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using this NYX brow pencil, and this one is in the shade Espresso. And I normally don't like to pencil my brows because it's like a lot of work. But it's my 20th birthday. Today has been the weirdest day. Like, it's just been weird energy everywhere. Like, I'm just so thrown off about that whole gym incident, about that guy, like, literally trying to get into my car and, like, following me inside and, like, saying all this, like, disgusting stuff. And that was at the start of my day, like, well, not the start of my day, but it was, like, the first encounter I had with people. The first encounter that I had was with a creep, but whatever, I am just hope I never have an experience like that again. Because that was very uncomfortable, like super uncomfortable. I just wish my skin wasn't behaving like this on such a big day. It's kind of rude actually. I still don't even know what I'm going to wear yet. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my NARS Caramel Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I love this stuff, but the only thing is that I have to use my fingers, which I feel like is really gross. But I gotta do what you gotta do. And this is a very full coverage Concealer. This was pretty expensive. It was $30. $30 for this little thing of concealer. Y'all see how small this is in reference to my hand. I'm gonna buy it again, honestly. It's so full coverage. It works so well. NARS just has good concealers, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna just fill this part in just a little bit because it looks empty. So I have to use a brush. I'm getting it clean real quick. This one is Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. And I get this from Target for $3. So if you're looking for a good brush for your concealer, definitely try this one. I really like to use this to blend out under my eyebrow. I am gonna have to brighten up a little bit because sometimes this concealer oxidizes or I don't know if that's because of the orange concealer that I put underneath, but something else like needs to happen right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I just need it to brighten up the inner corners a little bit. I'm using this flat brush that I got from, I don't even know. And actually, I don't like to have a thick eyebrow. I really like to have a thinner eyebrow. I just feel like it looks better. So these aren't exactly thin, but they are thinner. Now I'm just going to take that same brush and blend it out. And I use a darker concealer on the top that matches my skin tone more because I don't want to have halo brows. This scar on my hand is bothering me so much. I don't even, actually I do remember how I got it. My shower curtain fell down and I was trying to put my shower curtain back up. So as I was trying to put the rod back, it fell and then I was trying to catch it and then my hand scraped the hook in my shower. And now I just have this scar. This happened about two weeks ago. I was hoping that the scar would just disappear, but no, it's still there and it's really killing my vibe. So this is what my base makeup is looking like. It looks really good in my opinion. Um, everything looks smooth. I went to go find some foundation earlier. I didn't find any because that's just how it goes. Like I can never find my shade. Actually, I wasn't even looking for foundation. I got into that store and I forgot what I was doing. And I started looking at perfume. And I have so much perfume, you guys. If y'all want dedicated perfume videos, let me know. Cause I actually love, 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 love fragrance. Like I could talk about it all day. That's like up there with body care products. Like just having 
like a nice perfume. I feel like it's just the icing on the cake, like it's the last thing you need before you walk out the door to just complete your look. You need to have a scent. Boys and girls need to have a scent. And actually, when you smell good, you're more attractive. Like, it's scientifically proven, especially with vanilla scents. My curls are starting to fall, and I'm actually feeling the straight hair, but no, Sierra. No, girl, you don't want to do that to me. You don't. You want to curl your hair. So for my powder, I'm using this Cover FX powder. The label rubbed off, but this is in the shade G70. And this is, I guess this counts as foundation. I just feel like powder foundation isn't real foundation, so I don't really count it. But, this is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. Y'all, I keep on getting disgusted by what happened earlier. I can't get it out of my head, like, why are guys so weird? Like, I should have pepper sprayed him, I really should have. But in the moment, I was just like too terrified. Like, what if this guy like shoots me or something, I don't know. So I have a few contour kits. I don't know which one I want to use. There's this one from Black Radiance. And then there's this Dark Chocolate Soleil. And I feel like I need to use a combination of both today. Where's my bronzing brush though? No, I'm going to use this Fenty bronzer. I'm obsessed. This is called Beijing Gao. And it's kind of orange, which I enjoy because it makes me look bronzed whole point of bronzer so i'm going to do bronzer first and then i'm going to do contour second oh i already took my shower and i'm pretty sure y'all want to know what i used i'm going to do my edges y'all please don't come for me um i used my dr bronner's unscented soap first just to get off all the sweat from the gym and then i went in with my jasmine and coconut milk dove scent so right now i smell very nice and fresh that's like a really nice clean fresh scent i love it and then i topped it off with some baby lotion because baby lotion also has that nice fresh smell i need to find like a jasmine scented lotion so i can make everything nice and matching then i'm going to use my dark chocolate and use a pointed brush to actually sculpt out the hollows but that's about it and then i'm gonna put some on my nose as well because why not like we're already here actually the stuff tastes kind of good somebody put me on my strange addiction So I'm going to use my soft glam palette, I'm going to use burnt orange. Now I'm going to use Sienna, which is this, this color right here. Now I'm just going to use the shade bronze right there. So now I'm putting more of the sienna color on the outer parts just so that it blends all together. It looks like a sunset. This is what it looks like. I'm just kind of blending everything together like that. I just wanted a little color on my eyelid and then a nice, warm, rusty color. I'm about to back this camera up. It was too close for comfort. For blush, I'm gonna mix some blushes. I'm gonna use my Sephora hot flush then i'm going to use my nars palette which i love and i'm going to take this brown color and put that on and i saw this thing where if you put the blush only on the top like that kind of like you would contour it takes your face like that so that's what i'm trying to do right now i really like the way my makeup is turning out For lips, I'm gonna use my Laguna lip balm because it has this nice bronze look and I really just wanted a bronzy makeup look. So that's my makeup. Let's move on to my hair. I'm gonna leave this headband on so that y'all don't see my edits because it's kind of eh, right now. I already have on heat protectant from earlier. So I'm just gonna take this barrel curl because this is what I'm used to.
Oh, that looks so good. I need to FaceTime somebody. It's so weird getting ready and not FaceTiming somebody. Let us see. So I've added some bounce to my hair. Love a good bounce in the hair. So now I have to pick out an outfit and I actually don't know what I want to wear. I think I want to wear like a scarf top or something. But I don't know how to tie that, so I'm gonna have to look and see. So I was gonna wear this scarf top ensemble. This room is a hot mess because I'm getting ready, but I was gonna wear this, but I don't want to. Okay, so I just decided on this. I mean you can't really go wrong. Dark wash jeans, a little cute lace top. Okay, so I put this headscarf on, shirt is from Abercrombie, pants are from Fashion Nova, shoes are from Princess Polly. And wearing my favorite bag. Now I have to put on some body oil and some perfume. So the perfume I'm gonna wear tonight is the Oriental Cherry. I accidentally wasted acetone, so I have to repaint my nails real quick. But this one is by Dossier, and it is a dupe for the Tom Ford Lash Cherry. After I saw how similar they were to the real thing, I was like, hold on. Let me buy some. Like, let me actually spend my money on this. So, this stuff smells amazing. Oh my goodness. This portion literally is not sponsored. They didn't tell me to feature this. They didn't even send me this, but... They just have some really good stuff. And you know I would put y'all on to the good stuff that's affordable. I have a discount code in the description if y'all want. So mad that I wasted that acetone in my bathroom, so I have to repaint a few of my nails. Body oil's on, perfume is on. So now I'm gonna go meet up with my friend for sushi. That's how I look. I'm listening to Spotify ads, right? Not Spotify, I'm listening to SoundCloud ads. I have Spotify Premium, don't get it twisted. I smell like cherries right now, I smell so good. But anyways, I'm listening to my Summer Walker. Y'all know I love Summer Walker. Um, I'm like Summer Walker's biggest fan, like her biggest fan. I was in the top 1% of her listeners for 2020. Spotify told me in my yearly recap, but yeah. Weekend picture. It's a garage cake in your box. And my mom said this is an old fashioned 1980s garage birthday cake. That's what I said? Yeah, garage birthday cake. My mom said this is a garage birthday cake. Thank you. You're welcome. We love you. Love you too. Who remember a cake like old times? And it was my birthday every day. We can go cut it in the garage. Day. Come on. <laughs> it was my birthday every day. Every day. for 9k i can't even believe it like it makes me so happy that i have like 9,000 internet friends like but i hope y'all enjoyed this video thanks for coming with me to my 20th birthday anyways i will see y'all in my next video bye